Palmerston and we are just finishing setting up. Have to just uh, find a toilet. Now if you think Glastow does flags, I have never seen anything like what you see here. It's absolutely crazy. I'm so sad that we didn't bring one, but I wasn't expecting it to be like this. It's for Silverstone on the toilets. They are Zulus, which I've been to festivals where you have to pay for the privilege of using those ones. So not quite portal, they're a little bit more fancy, which is a uh, big old flush. thumbs up. Yeah, they've flushed, they've got sinks in, so fancy. I'm officially having my first drink of the weekend. I've also got McLaren coloured nails. And tonight, if you don't know, Woodlands is uh, the campsite that we're staying at, which is the on-site Silverstone Circuit, which is like a mini festival. There's live music on all weekend. Um, there's bars, silent discos, loads of food stalls. Obviously there's a shit ton of merch stalls as well for all the different teams. Um, and do you know what? I've never been around this many people in my life that like F1 and it's absolutely amazing. Um, the vibe is really good. Obviously it's raining, but people have got proper good setups here because, because you can bring your car and have that next to your tent. It means you can load it up and without lugging your stuff. You know, like at a festival, when you have to unpack and put it all on your back, get it up to where, into the um, actual site. It's not like that here. So everyone's got like big gazebos, massive tents, like, yeah, just absolutely amazing. in the circuit oh my god this is like bucket list moment for me i'm so excited i am fully aware that this is just a piece of concrete but honest to god that is like you know when you've seen something on the tv for so long and then it comes to life it's like meeting a celebrity this piece of tarmac i'm not even joking it's like a really weird feeling intend to sign this vlog off because um, I'm a little bit drunk but I'm sorry behind me behind me I'm looking at Daniel and Lando's garage right now Ferrari garage is like slightly open and I can I can see them in there in their uniforms in per like I'm, I'm looking at them with my own eyeballs and they're there and they're doing work this is the type of shit I watch on sky and now I'm here in real life seeing it from my own eyes I'm chatting shit we're actually the only ones as well. Later that night, we headed into the lively area, which is the festival part of the Woodlands campsite. This area has food, fair rides, bars, music, a silent disco, and it even has its own little on-site pub. It's safe to say that we did our best to experience everything Woodlands had to offer on this first night, and we might have pushed that a little bit too far by going on a ride that spins you around, and upside down multiple times, which is never a great idea after you've had a few drinks. Good morning. Morning. <laughs> We are on day two. We get to actually see the cars. Yeah. I'm so excited. Literally. Last night was amazing. Um, we watched Example, then we went to the lively area. There was stuff going on for quite a while. We did some rides, which was a bit hectic. Maybe not our finest idea. We all came off it like, I think it's time to go back to the tent now. Yeah. Pardon? Bumper cars. Bumper cars, all of it. We, we, we really, you know, we went for the full experience last night, but today is all about the actual racing. So we're gonna head over watch fp1 i was so excited yesterday when i just seen the garages so i'm going to be beside myself when i see a car
lucky I have no shave. So we've just been to watch FP1. Uh, we got rained on, then it was sunny, then we got rained on, then we it was sunny. It was a bit of a roller coaster up there in the stands, but we were right opposite the pits, which was incredible. So there wasn't that much going on, unfortunately. But because we were opposite the pits, we got to see quite a lot. So looking forward to FP2 now, because that wasn't that exciting, unfortunately. But there is more to come, and just the roar of the cars was risen from the dead. Um, Silverstone's a lot. We have already done like 25,000 steps by six o'clock today. We've managed to actually walk around the entire circuit. Watched FP1, FP2, um, had a gander in all the different stores. Watched a bit of F3 and F2 and by the end of it, like between all the steps and I needed to probably eat something but we just come back and I just fell asleep in bed. So. Uh, I did really, really want to watch the W Series Quali, but there you go. I'll watch the actual race tomorrow. Bumped into my friend, which is great. We're going to go meet them now, and we're going to watch Sagala at the main stage in the circuit. After that, we'll probably just head into Woodlands. But yeah, I need to drink a Red Bull and get some more, um, more energy flowing in me because Silverstone is like Glastonbury in terms of just how much walking you end up doing it is a lot so if i look very tired <laughs> that is the reason but hopefully we're in for another good night uh, a little bit chilly so i've got a hoodie and a windbreaker on but yeah night two here we go Saturday was really busy for us so I only managed to get some short clips throughout the day. In the morning we headed into the circuit to explore the fan zone more. In there you can view the 2022 FIA car, try your hand at some sim racing or you can give a pit stop a go but that was a half an hour queue so we swerved that. And as we were leaving we spotted Lando's Quadrant team taking photos with fans. Later on in the day, we watched FP3 and then we headed to the Hamilton Strait Grandstands, which was an amazing place to have the chance to watch the W Series race and F1 qualifying. <laughs>
much today because it's been a bit of a crazy one. We're back at camp, but we are heading back out now to watch Bastille. We watched a W Series race, that was great. We were in the Hamilton Straight South for that. And then we watched Quali from there as well, which was amazing. And it absolutely threw it down. And we missed all of that because we were undercover. And then we headed over to the main stage to watch the driver's forum with McLaren, which was really good. Before we came back to take some paracetamol because my feet are absolutely killing, put in some eye drops because between the sun and the wind and the rain, my eyes have just been watering consistently every single day, all day. Now we're off to watch Bastille and then we'll probably head into Woodlands again. So that is it for today so far. you feel my mind or you feel my mind we could build a dream start up something new let the old be dead let the shadows in my head and the world is on your shoulders and you feel like falling over just come a little closer i'll be there for you i'll be there for you because when we are together i know you feel the tension just let me in your head so i can be there for you there for you amongst all the energy of the F1 fans and to see the cars in live action was such an incredible experience. I didn't film much on Sunday, there was 142,000 F1 fans swirling around the circuit and the Grand Prix itself was pretty eventful, meaning I was a little bit distracted. So, although it's only a short clip, I'll let Lewis be the closing words as he closed out my weekend. Thanks for watching and until next year. Uh, what, a, what a day, what a result. What a weekend. I, I really want to say a big thank you to all of you. The, the energy you all bring is incredible. 